So this is actually, too, I was like thinking about this too, but there's a, a post over here by Permaband. And let's see, this is my last post on the matter. VTubers artists, if by chance you see this, do not post on at all much or at all on blue sky especially if the reason that you're doing it is over x's twitter ai uh, terms of service changes i have talked about it on my yesterday stream but i will post about it for posterity i am noticing a large number of vtubers and artists who are announcing that they are migrating to blue sky and the reason most of you cite it is over the ai policy it's just a kind of like rehashing it Although this part at the beginning, this like highlighted part at the beginning, this was actually always there. I don't know why people keep bringing this part up as being like a new thing. This has always been there. And then, then you go down this license. So here's like the new part, provide, promote, improve services for our machine learning and artificial intelligence models whether generative or another time. It is a fair concern, no doubt about it. But if this is the reason you are moving to Blue, Blue Sky, I will be blunt with you. You are shooting yourself in the foot multiple times. It is at least many times easier for your post to be taken by AI when you post on Blue Sky. And I'll tell you exactly why. My guess, so I haven't actually read this whole thing. This is like my first time actually, like I only saw the, the top part. My guess is that this has to do with the fact that on Twitter or X, you have to have an account usually to see media. So what I'm what I'm guessing is that Blue Sky doesn't. So on Blue Sky, you can just click on the link. Like say somebody links you to like a Blue Sky, like you can go on Blue Sky and look at media without an account. Exactly like DeviantArt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically what that does is now, if since Twitter actually uh, X actually blocks you out from like looking at some media posts because of not having an account, I, I think so. I think it does. Actually, I'm going to copy this into an incognito and see what I get. Oh, because if you don't have an account, you can't search. It gives you like the fat X thing. Uh-huh. So you can't actually look at the site. You can only be linked to the site. You can't look at this. Yeah, I see. All right. So I just checked it right now. Kind of hard to show because it's on the incognito window. But basically, if you try to go to x.com, it just prompts you to log in. You can't actually browse the site. And apparently on Blue Sky, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Blue Sky right now. Oh yeah, straight to the art. I don't have a Blue Sky here. I don't have a Blue Sky account. There it is. My name was taken. Ah, I don't care. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go on Blue Sky anyway. So yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the that's the thing here. So the problem with that, if you move to Blue Sky and you don't need an account, as in you could just hop on it, that means that internet bots can can scrape it way easier. Does that make sense? So I think that's what he's gonna say. You're shooting yourself in the foot multiple times, and I'll tell you exactly why. There are AI ranging from Meta's, Nvidia's, Apple's, countless others, less known corporations. Yes. As you are posting an argument online right now or writing a reply to me saying I'm wrong, they are scouring the internet, whether it's Downborough, Pixiv, DeviantArt, grabbing any art or post they can find a trade. But as long as you post there, you are helping their AIs, whatever, whether you like it or not, but there's a limitation. Firstly, I want to shout out Legal Mindset for simply and clearly making an important point. These AIs primarily only have access to content that is publicly viewable. Yes, which means that working, working way the working way right now to slow down prevent content from being scraped is to wall it. Whether it's Patreon paywalls, uh, Misky complexity, or wait, Twitter sign in. Yeah, see when you try to go into Twitter, this is this is actually exactly what you see. So as as you can see, I went onto Blue Sky here with an account, and you can, if I had a bot, for instance, that was th that I targeted the bot to B Sky the app, and then I told the bot like rip the entire page they can do that in fact i have i personally have programs to, for doing that that's because say you need to clip like a video for like as a reference for another video a lot of the times you can't actually get that video normally so you have to use like a scraping tool in order to actually get it i, I used to use this when i made like a lot of like kind of gameplay videos and kind of commentary videos like like before when i used to personally edit them that, that's that's what happened so anyway so as you can see like there is that difference there so you go into a completely new browser enter x there's a big screen stopping you from seeing any post you have to create an account sign in and then you have content as it stands right now there's no known conceivable way for external ai to bypass the restriction to scrape data mm -hmm. well i mean you can but it's more manual so here's like the truth guys and i'm sure you all know this like in your hearts because i don't think you're stupid don't prove me wrong <laughs> but you know that when you post something on the internet at all in like a public place or a place that is accessible publicly what i mean by public is even the patreon even the patreon is still public 
because when you post something on Patreon, they can just pay and then they have access to everything. So it's still public right? Because anyone can do it. So as long as you post something publicly on the internet, it belongs to the internet now. I don't mean like morally or, or legally. I mean, it belongs to the internet practically. You know what I mean? Like in, in practice, the internet has it now and they will do whatever they want with it. You are at least getting paid that way. Well, yeah, but all it takes is one person is what I'm saying. All it takes is one person to leak, to leak it and it's over it's out right and then and then everyone cross posts it and then and then that thing it, it's out now what i'm trying to say is there's no way to defend anything that you post from being used in a different way there's literally no way to do it the only way is to keep it locked in a vault in dms with people or or with like only your close friends it's literally the only way for it and even then like you know one of them might be an asshole and and release it anyway i mean it's happened to me but that's what i mean is there's no way to stop it practically you know I'm, I'm i'm not again i'm speaking strictly practically like i'm not trying to make a moral statement and say like it's okay to do that obviously it's not but it's obviously like not a good thing to like go on like a paywall thing take it and then leak all the all the stuff out of it obviously that's it's not right but practically it's it, that's what you're doing there's no way that, there's no way to stop it so like <laughs> like like it, it there's nothing you can do. I, I I know that sucks, but that's just that's reality. We got we gotta come to reality, okay, guys. Like, come on, we've been on the internet for longer than this. But in contrast, you go to Blue Sky. The very moment you type in the address, click the above link. All content is available to your viewing, no holds barred, no restrictions. Which means that all content is available for countless numbers of AIs and countless numbers of corporations to scrape from. VTubers and art artists gleefully keep posting on Blue Sky. Uh, give it give it to them on a silver platter without knowing any better. It's a data scraping buffet. And the one thing I'd like to tell you all, a little inconvenient fact, say what you want about Elon or this site. At least X told you to your face that this is what they're doing. They actually had the baseline standard to seek your consent. That's true. Meta, by contrast, whistleblowers, media, and government had to force Zuck to tell everyone what they were doing. Otherwise, you would still all be in the dark, including me. And remember that because X is locked social media until you sign up, and now only Grok conceivably is able to use your data. No other AI can touch the site just yet. So what is it do you want, VTubers and artists? The harsh, ugly truth or the beautiful lie? This is this is what I'm saying. This is literally what I'm saying. It's like every, you're lying to yourself by thinking that like by moving to Blue Sky, you're hiding all of your stuff. It's not, it's not true. All you can do is prevent it for now. Um, Tiles of Toe was talking about it earlier. There's things like glaze that you can put on your thing that kind of fucks up AI. But for how long? All it takes is like them to like figure out how to defeat Glaze. And now instantly everything you Glaze is now available. And then you're going to come up with a new counter tactic. You're always, you're always fighting. You know, you're, you're up against the hordes constantly, right? So like, even if you do Glaze it, eventually, you know, oh, I'm safe because my things are Glazed. Yeah, well, all it takes is like them to make an AI that can get past Glaze. And now like everything that you ever Glaze is now available. And then you have to come up with a new counter attack. This is literally the same thing with hacking, by the way. Nightshade, Nightshade is one year old and it's already cracked. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It, it's exactly like hacking in games. Like, I don't like hacking in games, right? I don't like it. But like, how far can you go? It's so hard to stop it because every time you come up with a way to catch cheaters, more cheaters come in with like a different method. And like, you're always you're always fighting them right it, it, it's a it's a it's a back and forth battle this is the reason why y you see games not banning people immediately the only time they ban people immediately is from like a direct report and the reason why that's the case is because they can't show their methods of like how they're catching them right because if the hackers know what method that the developers are using to stop them then they'll change it anyway if the main reason you're migrating to blue sky is due to an ai issue i will be honest you're ignorantly self-sabotaging yourself it's true y you you willingly with a smile on your face left the sauna to enter the oven and you have ensured that even more ai can take your consent and you think you are doing such a great service to yourself well either you are being naive or you're clout chasing it's more likely than you think this is this is more likely than you think which is it i know for a fact my take on this matter is far from the most popular or engagement bait one but unless i am provided evidence in the contrary these are the facts and it's the truth the way i see it let's not all let's not all also forget that every anti who sends threats and harassments to artists and vtubers who are chased off of twitter 
mostly moved to BS. You haven't met the antis yet, but you will. Growing number of JP artists are getting banned on that site already and have returned to this site only to complain about the fact. So, okay, my point is, this is not a dig on any of you artists or VTubers. This is a warning to you about bandwagoning for something like BS. I cannot stop any of you from choosing not to take what I say seriously and to continue using that site. But remember what happens to you, whether the next generative AI has sampled your art style or a large crowd of antis drive you off of the internet without anyone supporting you, it's on you. Absolutely. Yeah, this is absolutely true. And this is like, again, this is, this is the problem. This is the problem I keep seeing with people is like, they think only one step, right? It, they act so, they act so much in emotion. They don't think about it for like more than one second. And if you think about things for like more than one second, you'll see how like people get baited into, into screwing themselves over constantly. It's actually so wild. Saying they think is stretching the definition of it. I mean, people should think. You should think. You should think before you do things, you know? You have two options, really. Option one is you need to think more, more than one step, especially on the internet. Think more than one step or already have a lot of your philosophy already grinded out so that you can make an immediate connection to like what you want to do. If it's the case, you'd have a lot less problems. That's true. But yeah, I mean, this makes 100% sense and I agree with this with all of it really. The thing is a lot of it really is kind of, a lot of it really is kind of like virtue signaling. It's like, I'm leaving because of this, but it's like, dude, if you think about it, like how many people are you actually fucking over with that? You know, one person does that, they lead the charge of like, guys, this place sucks. Like we gotta move to blue sky. They don't even think about it for one second. And now like they have a hundred people or more following them and they're all fucked now, right? Do, do you see what I mean? Like a hundred, hundred percent agree with that.